she's crazy. If I understand that they want to make it into a bigger issue than it is, they do. I, I get it. You know, it makes sense to want to be really dramatic about the whole thing and, you know, whatever. But YouTube is a private platform. Okay? It's private. Not bound by First Amendment protections. It's not. There is no free speech on YouTube as a private company. It, it, as soon as you sign up for YouTube and agree to the terms of service on YouTube, you give them the right to remove your content, any and all content. And if if the judge said, these people no longer exist to you, then these people no longer exist to you. And if you violate that, they can take your channel. How did Betty get in this in the first place? Well, <laughs> she not only stalked them, she to leave her home in Florida and drive to Tennessee. That's an act. That's a physical act. Right? From what I understand, the judge said something about, you said that you were going there to search for him, and this was about him, but I don't see searching here. I see some type of vendetta, a personal thing against the parents. <laughs> well, he's right about that, because I don't see you out there searching. I don't see you in the woods. I don't see you doing any of that, and you live stream all the things. You absolutely, 100% would have used it for content if you had done what you say that you're doing, but you're not. And even if you were searching, that still doesn't give you the right to drive by their home, to videotape their home, to go after Chris's dad or parents. You, you don't have the right to do that, to jump out of a car, to scream in his face, to drive to Horn Lake, Mississippi, to film his trailer or lack thereof of the trailer, to accuse his mother, Sebastian's mother, of being a horrible mother who probably murdered her child. You have none of those rights. Everybody who even knows a, a, a minuscule amount of the law has tried to warn you over and over and over and over and over you don't listen we just did a live on free speech the other day other people have told you you cannot keep doing this you kept going it's called fuck around find out you fucked around now you found out now you have to pay their court costs as well like that's how wrong you are in this you're not just wrong where they're like well this isn't good you're wrong like and you're paying their court cost <sighs> because you're tying up the court's time then you wanted to behave like you weren't served properly and that's why this was going to get thrown out which we all knew is a lie because you were served so then the clerk gets up there and tells how you were served you see you cannot you can't do these things and think that there's no consequences for your actions there's always a consequence for your actions and in this case they're gonna be expensive for you i don't know what kind of paypal fund is going to be put up for betty to deal with this i mean how long do you feel like a judge is going to allow you to stay in court against the parents of a missing child that's where you have your damn nerve ma'am You've taken this, and his his dad, his father, is allowing you to continue with this behavior. And it's pretty screwed up that he's standing behind that. And he needs to sit you down and have a conversation with you and say, you know, I, I get that you have bad feelings against them, but this is making this all much worse. Can we just stop? No, you can't just stop. Because now your, your ego's hurt, too. On top of everything else, your ego's hurt. And I get it. You know, you were just talking shit. Literally just talking. You told the judge to kiss your wife right at ass. Like, miss ma'am? Miss ma'am? No. No, ma'am. Hold on. <laughs> oh, Betty. You're something else altogether. I don't think you see things the same way everybody else does. And, I mean, you don't have to, but people keep telling you the same shit over and over. You're wrong. You're wrong. Stop doing this. This is not right. Stop doing <laughs> You just don't listen. Look at the. I mean, just take a gander at this bold shit here. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, it's like an every damn minute of the day thing. For how long? First of all, you were late as hell to the case. You were late. Other people were covering it. You were late. You jumped on because it became popular and you saw other people getting views. And so you jumped on it, right? And now look, look, here we go. My favorite thumbnail ever. It's horrific. I wish they showed the judge this. Look at this right here. Sebastian Rogers, did Katie Proudfoot do the unthinkable? You know what? I hope this does set a precedence. I hope it sets a precedence for all of the clickbait thumbnails with the most disgusting fucking things written on them. I hope it sets a precedent for the, the creators who continuously attack one side or the other. You know, if you have a stream and you have an opinion on something, that's one thing. Do you see this? Do you see this? And this is why they were granted those orders. Look at this. This is exploitation. Katie, where's the pickle bag? You see? Katie, where's the pickle bag? She even has a subscriber who has a pickle bag have their grandson get in the bag to prove that this could be done. It's just over. That's three months ago. You've been doing this for so long. It's unbelievable. Oh, Chris Proudfoot and his crane. Really? The rumors. The amount of rumors that have gone around in this damn case. The car. That's a lie. The lights video. Also a lie. All of these things and they just keep going they just keep pushing and pushing and pushing as if she's got the right to do it because she's on youtube youtube gives you zero protection against any of these things you sign up and you agree to community standards even though they don't always enforce them the way that they should on 95 percent of the bullshit that goes on around here but look at how long this has been going on it is your only content it's the only thing that you talk about i mean you have this child's face on a thumbnail with brian kohlberger i didn't even never see that one it's it's wild and people will get on and people will whine and say this is a violation of free speech free speech ain't free it's not. It never has been. You cannot slander people. You cannot harass them. You cannot stalk them. You can't threaten them. You can't do those things. Filthy. 
look, I mean, this is this is absolutely wild. Oh, Summer, you also did things to them as well. So there's that. Doors locked. Locked doors. You're unbelievable. You are unbelievable. I'm so happy the judge saw what he should see, that you have to go back to court, that you're not allowed to talk about these people anymore. And here's the precedence. I hope it sets. I hope other parents of kids that you decide to cover see this. I, I pray that they see this. And they know, wait a minute. You mean YouTubers can't just drag my family through the mud anytime they want to? Wait, what? There are limitations on the things that they can say? Oh, well, fuck. I didn't know that. Now you know. She is setting a precedence. She's setting a precedence for the YouTubers who suck balls, who keep doing this kind of stuff and keep doing it family after family, case after case, constantly. She's one of them. I'm sorry. She's a person who has crossed the line so many times and it's wrong. It's completely wrong. Yeah, see, she was doing these. Oh, no, there's Sebastian. Okay. I'm scared of Chris. Son, why? Do you see what I mean? Like, what in the entire world? You're making up stuff. You're making things up. And it, it's also the things that she's doing are pitting these families against each other. Look at this kind of stuff. And I, I think Seth has a role in that. It's up to him. He, she's on his quote unquote team, right? It, it's his job. It's his son. This is his show, as he said. Well, if this is your show, you need to tell her to sit down and stop. This is so fucking out of control. I think that he, the judge, did the right thing. Oh, look at For six months. You see this one right here? Did mom do it? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Your press pass was printed out. It was printed out. <laughs> and the press has a responsibility. They're supposed to report with integrity. You do not. And you don't report. You sometimes stream with no pants. Oh, what? I mean, I ain't hating you for that. I would stream with no pants too, but... You can't call yourself a reporter in one breath and then be on a live stream with no pants. I mean, that just doesn't make sense. That's like crazy town. No. 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 On the hunt. <sighs> yeah, what happened to these people that you cared about before? In Kingsport? What happened to them? Where'd they go? You don't, you don't care about them now. They're gone. She doesn't care. Most of these people don't care. You see all these kids? All the way on the bottom here? Too many to count. How can we help? Well, number one, don't harass their families. Two, have a little bit of empathy and realize that their kids are fucking missing or deceased. How about that? How about don't stalk them? Don't jump out of cars yelling at them? Don't use a bullhorn ever again in your life? Don't get their faces printed on your fucking t-shirts? Mm, that's a start, maybe. Don't just cover kids' cases that have views. How about covering kids' cases that get no views? How about that? It's a novel idea, I know. But you can fucking try. Maybe, allegedly. <laughs> maybe. Oh, look, see? Look. You see, we're going to have a little lesson here. Look down here. 975 views. 1,000 views. Right? 800 views. 841, 1,000 views. Oh, 640, 641 views. 667. Hmm, nobody cared about Audrey, right? No, no, she wasn't getting any views. What are we going to do with this? What, what can we do with this? Nobody cared about any of this. So let's see what they did care about. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Here. What? Hold on here. No. 3,000, 3,000. Uh, you went back there. Went down to 781. Damn it all to hell and back. 5,000, 5,000, 4,000, 5,000. 2, 6, 7, 5. 2, this was not about uh, Sebastian. Under 1,000 views. Damn it. Next day, 5,000. Oh, well, this got views, so uh, I'll give you that. 8,000. Look, bedtime stories, people don't like that. They don't want to, they don't, they don't want you reading them to bed. No, 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 no. 10,000 almost. Look at that all. Oh, Micah, 1.4. So we go right back to Sebastian. Right back to Sebastian. Even Brian Coburg ain't working for you. Jeez Louise. Right back to Sebastian. See? See? 13,000, 22,000. Breaking. Katie Proudfoot is busted. 22,000 views. Busted what? Busted your ass in court today. That's what she did. Busted nothing. Busted nothing. 22,000 people tuned in for you to clickbait them and lie. That's what happened. Nothing. Wow, neighbor speaks. 10,000 views. This is out of control. I'm so happy that the judge saw through this. Breaking! Sebastian Rogers, a bone connected with human remains. Dun, dun, dun. It was nothing. Let's put Chris naked in a baby diaper. 10,000 views. That'll work. Unbelievable. You got exactly what you deserve today. You learned a lesson. Learned a lesson.